This is a review of a Hadeen uh, EG491. Uh, it's a Telecaster style guitar. Uh, looks like it's based off of a 72 Deluxe. Two humbuckers. Uh, bridge was around 14, 15K. Neck was around 7, 8K. So typically what at least I would do with uh, humbucker guitars is a uh, hotter bridge more of a lower output PAF style neck. Um, difference with this one, uh, it, it has a vibrato or a tremolo bar like a, a Stratocaster would have. Therefore, it has springs on the back. Uh, this did come with a cover with three springs. I prefer five and only had one extra one. So there's four and um, yeah, uh, believe it comes with nine gauge strings on it. The strings aren't that great, so I would recommend replacing those. If you like nine, keep nines. I prefer tens. That's everybody's personal preference. Edges of the fingerboard, uh, the fretboard, no burrs, very smooth. This is a maple poly type neck. Um, very polished on the back. Uh, what I personally did when I got it, it was tacky. Um, I used uh, 40 steel wool or however you pronounce that steel wool uh, I use the same stuff to polish frets with I used it on the back you have to use a little elbow grease but it doesn't sand it down to bare wood it just gives it that satin feel kinda like if you've ever played the uh, player series from Fender on the Squires or uh, the Mexican made uh, Fenders they have now more of a satin feel to the back of the necks. Um, uh, traditional kind of cheaper style tuners, uh, dual string trees at the top, probably a plastic nut. I haven't really looked at much details. I got this for my birthday. Um, I really wanted a dual humbucker type of guitar and uh, a little bit lighter than my Les Paul that I play. Um, and I, I like maple necks, uh, rosewoods. I'm not particular or picky on them, but uh, I like the way the maple necks look. Uh, I really like this guitar. Probably the only thing I'll change, like I mentioned, was strings. That's my preference. I like 10 gauge, but the strings on them are, uh, they're a little gritty. And then uh, I would polish the frets. They are not smooth. They're not gritty by any means, but they do need a polish. Um, the only thing I did to it was say in the back of the neck and then I, I kind of rolled the edges of the fretboards. Um, it wasn't that sharp but I, I like them a little bit more worn down feeling I guess. Um, and then uh, I, I will keep it completely stock for me. I like it. Uh, I'll probably change the input jack. Um, everything I was playing through the loop track was through an old Boss RC20 XL and uh, I just basically laid the bass track, um, the bass guitar with a uh, my bass, and then the uh, drums with a, uh, um, a little pocket kit that I have through a uh, microphone. Um, effects I had on here, I tried to go through all the pickups, both neck alone and bridge alone. Um, completely clean or not completely clean on that I, I did have it a little dirty uh, going through an SD1 um, it's not completely stock boss SD1 it does have the cap C6 removed which is a common mod it just gets rid of muddiness and uh, makes it a more transparent uh, overdrive and then a little bit of uh, spring reverb and a slight slap back delay uh, that trails a little bit a little bit more than a uh, a slap back would be nothing too major just to get rid of the dryness of the guitar tone and uh, all that was going into a uh, 73 Fender Silverface Champ with a uh, 10 inch speaker uh, it had been modded prior to my uh, ownership of it uh, it does have an audit mid control with a switch for the negative feedback to bypass that uh, and I had that engaged to where to bypass the negative feedback. And that was going into a Sennheiser E609 into my, um, I think it's a Behringer mixer that's USB. Um, yeah, it, it, 
it's a great guitar. It's light. I didn't measure it, but um, I have a Les Paul and it's definitely a lot lighter than it. Uh, I have not played it out yet. I've only had it a few days, but uh, I haven't seen many reviews on this Hayden EG491 and thought that I would uh, record this real quick and put it out there in case anybody was looking. Uh, this was a birthday gift from my lovely wife and my beautiful daughters. Uh, I believe they got it from Reverb. Um, that's the link that I gave them. It is under 150 bucks, which is awesome. If you were to look up 72 Deluxes from the Squire series, even used, they're, um, I think they're over $200. So this is brand new. It came shipped, double boxed. Everything was fine with it. Came with the whammy bar uh, and the uh, Allen wrenches to adjust the saddle heights and um, the uh, curvature of the neck to do the trust rod adjustment. I haven't done anything with it other than tune it. Um, did the rub down on the back of the neck with the steel wool and then just added the string on the back or the spring, not the string. Um, but other than that, uh, I give it a, a thumbs up. I don't. I don't do ratings. This is my only review. But I thought that I would help some uh, fellow guitar player, musicians, beginners that are not wanting to spend a lot of money. I think this is a great beginner's guitar. Um, Action-wise, it was not high. I didn't have to adjust the truss rod. Um, that's a common thing with cheaper guitars. Uh, sides of the fretboard. There were no burrs. It feels comfortable. The neck is. The neck is, uh, I think it's kind of a soft C. It's not a vintage V type neck. It's not real big. Um, I wouldn't recommend for small hands. Um, I would go for a uh, Squire mini strats are awesome um, for kids under, you know, under 10 years, depending on their the size of their hands. But uh, I think this would be a great beginner guitar. Uh, not just this particular model. I mean, uh, they they sell straight uh, traditional Telecaster and I believe they sell uh, Strat style and this is the first time I've ever seen anything about them and, and played one personally so um, anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed the small clip that I was uh, recorded of me playing and I uh, hope you enjoyed this review and uh, if you get one uh, cheers good good for you and, and, and if not then I mean that, that's your opinion. This is a great guitar. Um, and uh, thanks for your time.